Hey everyone, it's Big Z and welcome back to Rakuen. So in the last episode, we were trying to find more gold so we could afford the candy that's in the vending machine to give to the head nurse. However, we only had five gold, so I did some meandering around between episodes and found some gold in this cabinet. And I also found out why we needed to turn on the power supply in Tony's room. Because when you come over here, I forgot about this door, but apparently it needed power. So now if you look at the doorknob, we can put a passcode in for the door, so. Also, I never noticed, his name is Boy. I thought he had a name, but I just didn't pay attention, but apparently his name is just Boy? I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the candy out of the vending machine. I love how everyone is just so chill with me, just wandering around the hospital, and they're just like, yeah, this is what he does. Uh, peanut choo-choo, please. You received the peanut choo-choos. Sweet. Oh, head nurse, we have a surprise for you. Quit bugging me, kid. I have a lot to do right now. Well, I have a lot to do, too, and getting sassed by you was not on that to-do list. I guess we can offer a peanut choo-choo. Maybe she's just hangry. Maybe once she has this, she'll be in a better mood. Wait, you're giving this to me? Wow, thank you. I haven't eaten anything, like, all day. I love how automatically after she sasses us, I give her, like, the snobby girl voice. <laughs> I guess they won't mind if I, like, go on a short break. Please excuse me while I go watch Gilmore Girls in the bathroom for t half an hour. Almost at 20 minutes. I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, eh. It's not a short break, but it's not a long break either. Hospital admittance forms A through F. Okay, that's not what we need. Patient survey. Can we look at the computers? That would be a nope. Um, index cards. That thing. No, don't go on the other side. Hopefully she wasn't serious about that short break. Because it may take me a while to find what we need to find. The passcode. Do do do. Sure. Towel Cape Heroes, a group of fun-loving volunteers and patients working together to make the hospital a better place for everyone. Cool. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to think. I don't think there are any volunteers at our hospital. Like the one that my mom works at. Like there are people who donate stuff and there are people who make like little beanies and stuff for the babies, the newborn babies, so their heads don't get cold. But I don't think there's anyone who like volunteers their time that doesn't work there. Um, let's start from the top and work our way down. Assortment of books and pamphlets, newspaper clipping, sure. Already strapped for resources, hospitals are unable to accommodate new patients. Okay. Medical journals. I'm gonna need a card, sure. Closet 5C passcode 1721. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, let's do that before I forget. 1721, 1721. The year is 2017 and you need to be 21 to drink. That's how I memorize things, or at least it usually helps. To make up a little story or something, make up a little fun fact. Okay, so seven, two, one. Da 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 da, oh. I was gonna do like the little the little Zelda da 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 da, but now I'm just like da 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 da. No. <laughs> okay. Um. Can we turn on a light so it's a little less intimidating, a little less eerie? Someone's weathered journal. Sure, I'm feeling Snoopy today. Not the dog, but like snooping through people. Anyways, we weren't able to keep everyone alive, but we tried our best. Way to bum out the vibes, dude. Positive vibes only in this hospital. I don't know. <laughs> um, lower cabinet. Yeah. Look underneath. Found a key for this small cabinet. I feel like I'm saying cabinet weird. Cabinet? Cabinet. I don't know. Uh, was there anything on the middle shelf? I don't think so. Sure, read whatever I... Whatever it may be. <laughs> 14th of March. So this is before the other one we read. 
the NSA said the number of people exposed to radiation was expected to rise. Workers in protective clothing scanned people arriving at evacuation centers for radioactive exposure. Okay. We already read this, right? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Open the cabinet. Why not? I think that's what it was. I wasn't saying cabinet. I was saying cabinet. I don't know. There is a laminated card laying at the bottom of the drawer. Sure. Read the card. 2954. At 29 years old, I'll eat 54 Oreos. I don't know. <laughs> Look, I told you that they're like little stories and little fun facts, but they don't always make sense. It's just whatever helps my brain, I guess. That and I feel like that would be a serious stomach ache, eating 54 Oreos. Are you like a really old junk rat or something? He looks like he has like junk rat's wheel around his body because it has like little spikes on it, but it looks like a tire. I don't know. Um, what's over here? Medical books. How exciting. What does that say? What does the clipboard say? Attention staff, a representative from Cody Kyode Construction is coming tomorrow to survey the damage. Please make sure all personal materials are removed before then. So is there some sort of like, I don't know, nuclear fallout or something? Because they had, people were be, t people were be testing, uh, people were being tested for radioactivity. And now there's renovations happening to the hospital? I don't know. Ugh, why is it making that noise? I hate that noise. It's like a squeaky wheel, like a loose wheel. Or like, if you guys remember, back in the old days, we had pencil sharpeners that would be on the wall and they were made of metal and they looked like a really like oval tin. And then they had like a little crank on the side and you use that to sharpen your pencil and they almost never worked. Uh, it kind of sounds like that. Like when you were sharpening your pencil, it'd make that squeaky sound. Anyways, um, a pair of glass speakers. Cool. Awesome. Let's turn the lights in here. Turn the lights on in here, too. Bleh. Words. Can we go this way? It's locked. Well, then let's follow the creepy dude. Okay, can't follow the creepy dude. Um, maybe if I paid attention, I would see there's a, a maze of boxes. Or boxes that look maze-like. Uh, no, yeah, no, I totally got this. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we have to move that one. Then we go up one and move you to the side. Can we, can we, can we, no? Reset. <laughs> this may take me a hot minute. I'm never very good at puzzles like those. Where it's like you have to move things in a certain order in order to get the passage clear. I'm not very good at these, so give me a second. Can you go over one more? Nope. Oh, wait, you can go up here. And then you can go to the side, and then we can go here, and you go to that side. There we go. I was making it more complicated than what it was, or I guess I was... I thought it would be more complicated than what it looked like. Anyways. Pull the lever? Yes, pull the lever. You may not be Kronk, but you can pull the lever. But not my lever, because that's in my body. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But he went through that door, the other duder. Oh, this doesn't lead to another place. I mean, it does, but it doesn't lead to, like, another room? I don't know. Hopefully you guys get what I'm trying to say. Da -da -da, sure, take whatever it is. Key to metal door. Hooray! If only we knew where there was a metal door. Okay. I'm kind of curious now about the subplot that's going on. About, like, people being checked for radioactivity and, uh, the hospital getting renovations. Hey, what up, old junk rat? I don't know. That's his name now. What's over here? Okay, so I found a key card, so I think we have to use it on this door. Insert card key? Sure. There we go. And then we'll use it on this door. 
Yes, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I think that's funny. It's like, it gives you the option to put a card key in, even if you don't have one. So it's like, hey, you want to eat a cookie? Yeah, you don't have a cookie. Aww. Oh, it stays in the door, so I have to take it back out. But if I take it out, the door is going to close. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's let's open the door that we can open. Let's go to the place where we can do the thing. Yes, please. Thank you, please. Card key, maybe? Or a cookie? Card key. A lanyard with a card key. Sure. But why do we need three? I don't know. Maybe we need them for the next area. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Card keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the card key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So how do we get past this? Do we just walk through? Yep. <laughs> I love how I didn't go near that area at all because I was like, wow, that's ripped off. Obviously, we can't go that way. But it was just that simple. I went through and tried to find card keys for the doors before I went through a simple rope. I don't know what that says about me as a person. The door is locked and notice is posted here. Sure, reading leads to learning and learning leads to doing something smarter, I guess. I don't know. For security purposes, all three supervisor card keys must be inserted in order to open this door. Great, so you're saying I could have kept the card keys in there. I thought maybe we need them for the next area. I don't know. How'd that one dude get through here without putting all the card keys in? Riddle me that, game. Maybe he has like magical superpowers. That'd be pretty neat. Uh, yes. Da 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 da. Okay. Why is there a shovel next to the door? I don't want to know. Is that normal? I don't know. I've never been to a construction zone before. Why is there a fish on the ground? I have a lot of questions. Hey, it's our book. No, no questioning if that's our book. <laughs> my book. I think we've established this is my book. Y you gonna take your book? Hey, old junk rat. Ah, you have a lovely smile. It's a little late for visitors, don't you think? Who are you? Oh, I'm no one important. Uh -huh. Apparently, I'm goofy. But if you want to call me something, you can call me Uma. Okay. <laughs> are you the one who's been stealing food from the cafeteria? Did you take our book? I guess you can kind of call me red-handed. Why would you steal from a hospital? I'm hungry. Down on my luck. What do you want me to say, kid? Wait. Do you live here? For now. Not much of a home, but it beats sleeping on the streets. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, you don't have a real home. Eh, you get used to it after a while. So kid, you hungry? I've got a bit of fish head left from last week if you'd like. Uh, that's okay. But thank you. Look kid, I'm really sorry I took your book. Please. Take it back and forgive me for my lapse in judgment. It's okay. I do weird things when I'm hungry too. <laughs> you received Rakuen. And I promise as soon as I get back on my feet, I'll pay the chef back for all the food I took. I like your necklace, by the way. I like how hippity dippity it is. I just need some time to figure things out. I understand. Oh, one more thing. If I tell you a secret about this hospital, you promise not to tell the staff that I'm here? Okay, I promise. Hold up your pinky. Burp. 
a pinky promise. Break me and I'll multiply, becoming sharp as a tack. But if all you do is smile at me, I'll always smile back. Ugh. Okay, bye weird junk rat. What in the world are you doing here? Better question. What door is that? Because that was a lot faster than the way we went. And I would like to know for future reference. <laughs> I, uh... Uh... Well, I don't know how you got in here, but this area is off limits. Anyways, come with me. Your mom is here. Yay, mommy! Don't question the fish on the ground. Now why is the door glowy glowy? What's with all the glowy glowies? Is he gonna be like the shaman of this game or something? Is he gonna be the, the mystical foreseer or whatever? Mom! Aw, they have a loving relationship with each other. It's so sweet. And slightly heartbreaking. After you work so hard to get our book back, I think, I think you deserve a good bedtime story. Will you read Raku into me, Mom? Of course I will. Story time. Story time. Story time. Once upon a time, there lived a boy in a faraway land called Morisota's Forest. Even though he was still quite young, the boy was considered a great warrior by his tribe. One day, the boy returned home from a hunt to find that everyone in his tribe had disappeared. At first, the boy was very afraid, but he soon learned that his tribe had escaped danger by sailing to a world called Rakuen. In order to reach them, the boy decided to seek help from the great guardian of the forest, Morizora. For it has been said that Morizora would grant one wish to anyone who was able to complete his challenges. Thus, the boy set off on a great journey. He fought evil spirits, visited many lands, and befriended even the most severe of creatures. And at long last, Morizora granted the boy his wish, a ride on his magical boat. The boy was now able to sail away, finally reuniting with his tribe and all those he loved in the beautiful world of Rock. Good night. Good night, Mom. That's kind of cool that they have voice acting for the storytelling. Oh, are we going to get another visit from uh, the DeviantArt dude? Maybe. Mayhaps. Mom, is that you? Well, I guess it was the wind. Let me just go back to sleep. Hey, DeviantArt dude. Hey. DeviantArt dude. <laughs> I refuse to call him Yami. Maybe eventually, but I'm still gonna stick with that shtick for now. You came back. I told you I would. So the doctor told me you were wandering around in the backspace. That place is like a construction zone right now, man. Seems awfully dangerous to go there just for a book. It's not just a book. It's been on our family for generations. My grandmother used to read it to my mom when she was a kid. Ah, so you got it back for your mom? Yeah, and me too. It's a special, or it's special to both of us. Special to that old homeless guy too. The silver on the side probably sells for a lot. He was hungry. He was probably just trying to make you feel sorry for him so you wouldn't tell on him. He should have felt sorry for you. You're the one stuck in the hospital. He could leave any time, but you? You might never leave. Whoa, hey. I said it once and I'll say it again. Only positive vibes in this hospital. You don't need to be saying things like that, DeviantArt dude. Oh, hey man. I'm sorry for saying that. You don't look too sorry. Like, I will go ham on this kid if he hurts our little boy. It's okay. It's true. 
Aww. No, it's not. This is gonna have a happy ending. Don't, don't lie to me. Game, don't make me feel the feels. I know this is gonna have a happy ending. <laughs> if it makes you feel better, I'm stuck here too. We can be stuck here together. You're right. Thanks, Yami. I think that's the night shift nurse. Sorry, man. I should go. Yami? Yeah. I hope you get better. Not to sound like a mom, but I'm not sure if this child is a positive influence for our little boy. Hey, there's a letter on the ground. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetie. Did you sleep okay? Oh? What's the matter? I wish I could go to Morizora and ask him to grant me a wish, but... I know it's not real. I'm just stuck here forever, aren't I? Now, I wasn't going to tell you this until you were older. But, but I think you might finally be grown up enough to know the truth about this book. The truth? Do you know why someone tried to steal our book? Because there's silver on it and people can sell silver for money? No, no. That's not why at all. This book is not just an ordinary book. It's a map to Morizora's forest. A blueprint for what we need to meet Morizora himself. But... When the thief took our book, he obviously didn't realize that you needed something else in order to get there. Is that a key? This is the Rakuen key. You needed to open the book as well as the doors. The doors? My grandmother told me that when you have both the book and the key, secret doors will start appearing around you. Doors that lead from this world to Morizora's forest. There could be doors in this hospital? I don't know. And we may never know unless we look for ourselves. I want you to have this key. It's very special, and now it belongs to you. You received the Rakuen key. Thank you, Mom. But you must promise me that you'll take good care of it. Oh, I promise. I'll take such good care of it. Okay, then. There's only one thing left to do. Let's go find a door to Morizora's forest. If you want to talk with Mom at any time, press Q. Sweet. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. I'm kind of curious, though. I'm kind of interested now because the name of the kid in the book in the story was The Boy. And our character's name is Boy, too. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's a connection there. Maybe, possibly, probably. Because um, not only that, but, like, he said that his grandmother passed it down to his mother. So, I don't know. In a generation of females where it was, like, generation to generation, maybe he's, like, the first boy. I don't know. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here, and in the next episode, we'll go see if we can find the door to Morizora's forest. So I do want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!